Final video with the Snake Team. What is up, YouTube? James back here. Welcome back to another episode of VGC 2020 Back to Back Battles. If you do want to try out the Snake Team, make sure you grab it while you can. Two weeks for the rental code, as well as the placement link in the description, as this is the final episode with this team. If you want to check out the previous episodes, highly recommend go check it out. If you enjoyed these videos, be sure to leave a like down below and leave a comment down below, as it really does help me out. And if you want to see more content from me, you can go check out my second YouTube channel as well as my Twitch channel where I do stream VGC and also some other variety content. But otherwise, let's get started with today's video. So today's common question is going to be, are you a picky eater? And if you aren't a picky eater, what's the thing you probably won't like to eat, but you'll eat it anyway if like you're given to it? For me, I used to be a picky eater, but really now I just pretty much eat whatever for the most part. I think the pickiest thing I would say that I've like had or like have the choice of eating is probably like tomatoes. I'm actually not the biggest fan of tomatoes. I don't know why. I guess I'm just not a huge fan of flavor wise. I I'm not sure uh because like i'm fine with vegetables really i'm like fine with like broccoli as long as it's not raw broccoli and yeah like i don't know tomatoes is just like not the thing that i've always found uh enjoyable and like my my sandwiches or um burgers i mean i i'm fine with uh, tomatoes on tacos and not pizza sauce obviously but otherwise not a huge fan we got an interesting team though from moon we got Rongzong, Alex, Sam, Weezing, Rhydon, <laughs> Lapras, and Intellion. What is this team? Uh, probably Lightning Rod on the Rhydon for the uh, Lapras and the Intellion protection. What's really good is by Delmice. Delmice does a lot of work here. I wonder if it's like a speed swap strategy with Alex, Sam, and like uh, Bronzong speed swap. I don't know. It's very tough to say. I think Delmice plus Grimmsnarl is really good here as a lead, though. I have Arcanine in the back. Um, kind of tough. I can't bring Politoed because powering up those water Pokemon is a terrible idea here. Uh, probably Corviknight for sure. And then I'm thinking like bring one of Sandaconda or Arcanine. I think Arcanine's better for Snarl, especially against the Lapras. But we'll see here though. It's a very tough matchup because i don't know what the matchup specifically is i say it's probably not that great because lapras with intalion looks a lot of trouble some double water is actually kind of scary for this team because my main sweeper i don't have the best water resist other than Delmai. so let's see how this is gonna go we're gonna see the intalion and okay wheezing interesting combination as i lead grimsnar plus the uh all right so i can't get light screen up which is a little bit unfortunate Yeah, no light screen is actually kind of unfortunate. Hmm. I don't know if you're Dynamax Italian or not. <laughs> this is a really tough position. Um. I'll have one strange steam though. Maybe I go for Steel Spike. No, I think I overgrow here, and I think I light screen up anyway. I'm thinking I'm going to core, but I don't think that's um. I think it's just better light screen in general and because I think I live one strange steam or grimstone and as long as I live one and get the light screen up it's a lot easier to handle this Pokemon later we're gonna see a Dynamax come out and it looks like it's Inteleon's Pokemon actually I can't tell if that's Inteleon or Weezing if it's Weezing Dynamaxing it's gonna be a tough time oh boy this could be tough I'm assuming the Weezing has speed investment and I don't have speed investment on my other thing so this is gonna be really tough oh wait no, Soak strategy doesn't make sense here. All right, let's see. Also, that's a fast Weezy, and I'll spend my Delmai, so it's 100% faster. Great. Not the best. Not the worst, though. I wonder if they flare here, because Weezing can get a fire move, although I don't really think offensive Weezing's like the most common thing in the world. We'll see, though. They just air slash, which is fine. Wow, they did a lot. Is that choice specs? Life orb, okay. They starfall that has to be into my grim, yeah. So going Corviknight was better there. I didn't actually consider the Dynamax on Weezing. I thought if they were gonna Dynamax anything, it was gonna be the other slot, but that's okay. It's not the worst. Cause as long as I get rid of Inteleon, it's okay here. And I still have like a big steel spike pressuring the Weezing, as long as it's not offensive Weezing, which I kind of doubt it is. Uh we will be able to get the overgrow off, knock out the Inteleon. That Pokemon was a threat. 
it was a threat to the rest of my team so i'll gladly take that i can go arcanine and snarl now and that's actually really good for me because getting arcanine and snarl is very good positioning i think because like i can lower this wheezing special attack which is pretty solid here i also got grassy terrain healing me a bit i'll go arcanine here and snarl on whatever decides to come in i don't think they have the best switch in the delmise gonna be the lapras okay not too bad So I'll go out into my Arcanine. I'll go for a Snarl here as well as an Overgrow. Yeah. Even if Lapis Protects is not the end of the world. Unless it's policy. Maybe I should have just went for the Steel Spike and the Wheezing. But I have like Corviknight too. They do protect Lapis so Okay, a little bit obvious. I should still do a good amount to protect. But I would have preferred getting the... Uh, would have preferred targeting the Wheezing. At least I lowered a special attack of Weezing, so it's doing a lot less. Unless they ooze here. I guess they could ooze. I think that's what they might be aiming for. They're going to ooze my Delmas? Yeah. I think they're trying to avoid me. They're trying to avoid the damage up pressure here. Okay. I should have went for the Steel Spike. God dang it. I had a gut feeling too. As long as it's not weak as policy though, we should be fine. And I feel like it's... Could very well be weak as policy. It's not. Okay. I think I have to attack the Lapras too here. Yeah, I think I have to attack the Lapras here. I don't know how fast the Lapras is though, is the question. We don't know how fast the Lapras is actually. Oh well, we're gonna go for Snarl anyway. It's my best play regardless. I gotta hope I can live Max Ooze into the uh, ice move if the Lapras is faster. I have no idea if the Lapras is fast or not. It's gonna be a neutral attack. The Weezing's back at minus one. Let's see. Oh, they flare. Interesting. I mean, I'll live this. Yeah, very comfortably. It actually helps me out because now they can Hydro Pump my um, Arcanine, which is actually kind of nice. Okay, so that's not too bad. And I'm faster. Okay, that's a, that's really good. So being able to knock out the Lapras is huge. I'm not too worried about the Weezing now because it's at minus one special attack. About to be minus two unless there's a target worthy of flame during the following turn. And yeah, not too bad. Now gets get a little bit of healing, which is nice. Let's see the last Pokemon on my opponent's side. If it's Rhydon, I don't know if it's worth saving this Pokemon. We'll see. It is Rhydon though, okay. <laughs> Okay. So I think it comes down to Fire Punch and a bunch of other things. So there's no point in switching out Arcanine here. I think it's just better to go for Snarl right here and just protect Delmice. I get a bit of Grassy Terrain healing. I get another Snarl off potentially on the Weezing. And maybe like... Okay, they protect Rhydon, which is actually really good for me. Because I'm able to get a Snarl off and a Weezing. And that's minus two. Minus three next turn. And maybe I could live a fire move from the Weezing if it's Flamethrower. As they're going to go for Heat Wave. Ooh, that's actually better for me because that's weaker than Flamethrower. Okay. So I'll go for Power Whip here in the Rhydon. Because if I can get rid of Rhydon, it makes my job a lot easier. I'm not too worried about the Weezing. At like minus three. Unless they crit. Yeah, so this is best case scenario right here. So we'll go for the uh, power whip right here. As well as the snarl. Maybe I could have flamethrowered for a 2 KO on the Weezing. But I thought it was safer just to do this. They go for like a double protect. They fail. Snarl going to come out. It does land on the Weezing. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Come on, Delmise. Show them del their demise. We're going to see the heat wave. Survive because of all the snarls. Excellent. It's a burn. As long as we hit, we're good. <sighs> of course. Not my favorite. It really depends on what move these this ride on has. That's going to be difficult. <laughs> that was very unlucky, unfortunately. Uh, I guess we'll protect our Delmise and go for the flamethrower into the, uh, Weezing. 
Because I think they're just going to click Heatwave and High Horsepower into the Arcanine. I might as well just keep Delmice as a target because it makes Heatwave spread. Ah, it really comes down to the move on the Weezing. I mean, on the Ride On. So I'll protect Delmice here. Oh, wait, don't I go down to Burn? I might go down to Burn. Wow, that does so much. Sludge Bomb. Okay. And High Horsepower? Body Press. What? Don't know about that one. Well, Delmas goes down, which is unfortunate. I'm just going to Flamethrower Weezing and bulk up now. Yeah, it's my best interest to make that play. Body Press is an interesting move here. I don't even remember if a Violet actually increases the power of Body Press. I'm just going to bulk up though and Flamethrower. Because, um, yeah, like if Weezing doesn't protect, it goes down. And if it does protect, it's not the end of the world because I get a free bulk up with my uh, Corviknight. So like I can maybe pressure to ride on because I don't think it has a fire move at this point. And then I'll Iron Head the Weezing because I don't want to get crit by minus three heat wave. Oh, shoot. It does have... <laughs> Great. It has Horn Drill. <laughs> Why is it Horn Drill Body Pre... What? What is this set, man? What is this set? <sighs> Flamethrower Iron Head because we get to flinch the ride on potentially. If that hits, we're actually screwed. I need at least two Iron Heads onto the ride on slot. Maybe I could win by clicking Flamethrower over and over again in the ride on, but I feel like I would lose that war. So please miss or flinch. Well, we do get Intimidate off, which is nice because of the neutralizing gas wearing off. So Iron Head. Yeah, I'm going to need at least one more. Ah, uh, it hits. <laughs> I'm so unlucky. <laughs> it always hits. All right. All right. Arcanine, can you come through? Can you come through, pal? Maybe a burn? If we could get a burn, would be pretty nice. Just keep flame throwing. If they don't have a move that can touch me, I'll be very shocked. Because they're taking their time. They protect... Do you actually not have a rock or ground move? Are you are you trolling? Are you trolling? I, we saw horn drill protect body press. Are you Iron Defense? I don't have Wisp, unfortunately. If I had Wisp, this would be so much easier. Oh my god, that does nothing. And Body Press is going to be doing too much. I need a Burn, I think. I really do need a Burn. All right. Give me a burn. Give me a burn. Give me a crit or burn. Crit is nice. Burn? No. Body press. Please put me in berry range. Not in berry range, but another one won't KO me. Okay. Hopefully they don't think I have weaky berry. If they had to move this entire time that just hits my arc and I'm going to be really upset that they've trolled me this hard. <sighs> Or they just go for the last ditch horn drill say, ah, you know what? I'm just going to click horn drill. Okay, two more. Body press, I should live this one. Nice, send in to get my uh, berry. Whew, all right. So I think it comes down to horn drill or crit. Because I'll live another body press. I can't believe this ride on doesn't actually have a rock or ground move. Like, I would have clicked the rock or ground move, even if it's inaccurate. I don't care if it's Stone Edge, I would have clicked it. I think they're going to tempt on, do I go for the body press crit or the horn drill? Horn drill is 30%, so they should click horn drill. Am I that unlucky to be hit by horn drill? Twice. Twice. I don't know about you, but I'm not sure about my luck today. Flamethrower. Oh, I don't even know if another one case. We get the burn. Okay, they body press. They need a crit anyway. Yeah, they don't get it. I'm going to flamethrower here. 
<laughs> I don't care if they're quick claw right on. I mean, they should be violated by how well they're taking the attack, but I hope they show their team because I want to see what the right on moveset is. <laughs> I want to see what the last move is that you didn't click it no matter what the circumstance was. As we are able to defeat Moon in a really questionable game, I feel like. <laughs> what was that game? I mean, I guess like Dynamax seeing Weezing made sense. It was offensive pressure. Um, luckily, I, I was just scared of Weezing under Airstream pressure and then like the, the max moves from Italian. But hey, I'll take it. No team share, unfortunately, so I don't get to see what kind of Weez what kind of uh, ride on moose that that was. <laughs> but I guess we'll take it. Also wonder what their Lapras was. But yeah, able to pick up a win there, which is very nice. I almost lost to the Horn Drill. At least they didn't hit their first Horn Drill because if they hit the first Horn Drill, they like, I just auto lost. I'm actually surprised they didn't try to gamble on another horn drill because at the rate that they were playing, it was super low, but maybe they thought I was Goggles Arcanine and didn't have recovery, which is fair uh, after seeing Citrus not activate. But yeah, able to take the first win. Very scary. <laughs> uh, Oko moves are very scary. As uh, so let's see, our second opponent of the day is going to be another player from Asia 2970. Very tough team to deal with, though. Very standard, but tough. Hmm. So, we got a bunch of the good stuff here. Unfortunately, our Shifu Primarina lead literally beats me. Yeah, it kind of does. Sendaconda, not that great in this matchup. I think Arcanine Delmice. It's kind of tough because, like, the Arcanine is going to be a problem. Do I even have a way to beat Arcanine? <laughs> no matter what Pokemon combination I bring, because I need Arcanine to deal with Fairforn and Delmice to deal with Primarina, right? Or do I leave Primarina up the core, which sounds like a terrible idea? But it might be in my best interest. I don't know who I'm Dynamaxing in this match, which is the problem. Uh, no matter what, it's problem after problem after problem. I don't have, I don't think this, this is probably like this, this balance is really tough because it has a Braviary, which means I can't lead Arcanine or Shifu, Primarina, but fair for an Arcanine. Those are like very problematic Pokemon. Very problematic. A Primarina plus Urshifu, Dusclops. Okay. I wish I led uh, Arcanine here instead. I like Corv Knight though, so it's not the end of the world. I don't know if this is Haze Clops though. Mm. I wish I let Delmize. If I let Delmize, but my opponent knew I was going to lead that, so smart play by my opponent not to lead it. Um, We're just going to go for bulk up, I guess, and uh, I guess Spirit Break. I think my Grimstar will probably. I actually can't tell who's going to be faster. You know, I'm just going to set up a light screen because it's more value to get light screen up when I don't know the speed of the Primarina because I don't know if it's fast, like if it has speed investment because like there is a, um, what's it called? There is a Braviary, so that's Tailwind. So this Primarina could have a Tailwind number of speed. Like it could hit 90 to hit base 110s after Tailwind set up. Premier is going to Dynamax here. Let's see. So a light screen up. They're probably going to Starfall. So I'm going to bulk up. I'm going to hope this doesn't have Haze, but I feel like it does. Unless it's helping him, but it's still pretty bad anyway. They do Starfall. Yeah. Okay. Is it life orb is the question. I feel like it probably is life orb on this team. Yep. And trick room or nightshade. Nightshade is actually pretty good for me. Okay. So I kind of want to go Delmize here and go on the offense against the Dust Clops with Brave Bird plus Poltergeist. 
Or maybe they don't know that my Delmice is actually faster than the Primarina. So if I can Oko the Primarina, like they, I think like R comes in. Okay, so the plays I'm thinking, they don't know my speed sound Delmice. Delmice is naturally slower. So what if my Delmice is faster? Because if my Delmice is faster, oh wait, can I just airstream and yeah, maybe I just airstream and whip. Might be the best play. Unless I ally switch. But I'm trying to think the plays would be Arcanine. I think Arcanine. Or not Arcanine, I guess, because they didn't go into it. Interesting. We'll go Corv. I'm going to airstream Power Whip. And actually, maybe this play is a bit too obvious. Maybe I should have doubled up the... Um, maybe I should have doubled up the Clops. I mean, if they max guard, I mean, I don't get it up, but we'll see. Uh, ally switch. <laughs> it was ally switch. I thought it'd be haze or helping hand. Oh, that's bad. I get good damage in the clops though. It's not like terrible damage, but it's not the best damage. So this should put in range of another airstream at least. What did they go for though? Are they going for blizzard? Yeah, hailstorm. This is looking pretty much over. Uh, the last game had to be ally switch with this. I thought it'd be helping hand or haze. That's very unfortunate. Um, I need an airstream boost more than a steel spike boost right now. Because I need to outspeed our Shifu if I want a chance for victory. I'm going to go Arcanine. And the question is, do I read Primarina to attack the Corviknight this turn? Or do I predict you to target the Arcanine? Because it might be, be in my best interest, actually, to just go for the Snarl right here. Because I can't afford Corviknight to take too much damage. Yet, I feel like you might just target Arcanine anyway. Because I don't know what your endgame setup Pokemon is. So, yeah, I think it's just better to protect. And even if I have to take a cannon, I have to take it. On the bright side, Primarina should be in range even af after a Life Orb hit to um, one attack from Coronite at plus one. So that's one positive. Still very situational right here because this is looking really bad for me. <laughs> but <laughs> we got to go with what we got to go. It's even worse if they have, if they target the Coronite and they go for... Yeah, if they target Coronite, I think I lose because they sucker punch with our Shifu in the back. Because I'm assuming Urshifu's in the back. I don't know who the last Pokemon is, though. Maybe the Arcanine. I think it's either Arcanine or Ferrothorn. So, let's see. I'm assuming it's going to be Special Arcanine with Flanter. Alright, yeah, they can in, but into who? Into Arcanine, okay. It's doable, it's doable, it's doable. Coronite plus two to outspeed or Shifu. It depends on who they have in the back. If it's their Arcanine, a little bit problematic. But otherwise very doable. Oh boy, this is super close. They send out their Urshifu, okay. I think I have to target the Primarina with um, Steel Spike. And I think I have to burn the Urshifu. Is there endgame Fairforn? I'm just going to attack you with cannon. I can't afford that. But what if... I don't think you protect with Pyramid. I think you just go on the offense. I think I need a flamethrower burn to win this. Yeah, I think protect would be a choke potentially if I double up and call it right. That's a good amount of damage with Flamethrower because that's a crit. Burn? No burn. All right. Steel Spike into the Primarina. Should get it. Oh, just so close. But I think that was game anyway. I think you just Wicked Blow Arcanine. Yeah. Mm. That ally switch was very unfortunate. I guess maybe if I doubled up with like Poltergeist plus Airstream, but I don't think that would knock that Primarina either. So even if I called the uh, Primarina Max Guarding or something like that, regardless, wow. <laughs> Primarina is super strong. I just wanted to know what was the back Pokemon too. 
I feel like if it's Arcanine, I would... S I think no matter what, though, I think I would still lose. If it's Fairform, and if it's the Iron Defense set, I would lose. If it's Arcanine, I pretty much just lose to that. But I it keep spamming Flamethrower next to the Urshifu, which I can't really touch. Well, I guess I could Brave Bird, but then, like, Arcanine gets Flamethrowers, and once the Rain is set up, like, I can't knock out Arcanine with one hit. So, yeah. Unless it was... What was our last Pokemon? Braviary? That was the only Pokemon I could win against. And I really just don't think he would bring Braviary to that matchup, especially in the end. Because I think it'd be better as a lead. And even then, I just don't think Bravia is a good Pokemon in that matchup. So I think it would have been the Arcanine and other thing. Yeah, tough matchup. Ally Switch also made it really unfortunate because, uh, yeah, that was not what I was expecting. They usually run Haze or, again, Helping Hand on that team. So, or at least that's what I'm used to. So, <laughs> yeah, that ended up being the worst case of both worlds. Because it wasn't Arcanine coming in or it wasn't like my opponent just gambling on the speed. Because my Dumb Ice was faster. But... Sometimes it happens, but hope everyone enjoyed today's episode of VGC 2020 Back to Balance. We are done with the Sandaconda team. If you want to try it out, there is a rental code of the team available in the description. It was a very fun team. Really fun team. Two weeks to grab it. Make sure you grab it while you can, as well as a pace spin down below. It's pretty defensive. I kind of liked it, actually, though, for what it was worth. Um, I think it does maybe have some flaws. Water, again, Primarine and Urshifu, super problematic to deal with, uh, but... For a lot of teams, those Pokemon have problems to deal with anyway. But it's really fun. The fast Delmise was actually kind of fun. Trying it out alongside uh, Sandaconda. Sandaconda put in a lot of work, actually. It did. I unfortunately never really got to use it with the Paris Trap or anything. But being able to trap it with, like, um, the Sand Tube re uh, Recoil is just really sick. I'm not sure Binding Bad actually affects the damage output, though. I thought it did, because I remember someone telling me a long time ago that it did. But maybe it doesn't. So maybe I've been wasting my item choice the entire time and could have fixed something better. So uh, if the comments, because I haven't uploaded the videos yet. Yeah, that's your answer, because I actually don't know. I'm assuming no, based on the damage, because it looks like it hasn't affected. But yeah, uh, otherwise you could change the item. I highly recommend changing the item, but yeah. You can go check out my rest of my stuff down below in the description. So that's my social media side saves on the channel and more. Make sure you go check out my second YouTube channel as well as my Twitch channel for more awesome content. You can go check out my community Discord if you want to interact with me in an awesome community. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Next time, a brand new team. Have a great day, people. And until we bow again, I'll catch y'all later.